Hey guys, and how about we play Ash Gray version? So here we are at the Pokemon League. This is the lady I talked to, or that I mentioned in my little recap. Haven't talked to anyone else here, but let's look at my Pokemon really quick. I did just a bit of training, now they are all level 55, and I should probably re-equip them with items before we go on to the battles. But let's talk to people first. Talk to me! I'm determined to be League Champion when it's all said and done. Well, good for you. Me too! So that's not gonna work out. This is the third time I've entered the Indigo League competition! Aha! Each time I advance a little bit farther, so I know I'm improving! Wait, but I was told that if you lost, you lost. That's hardly fair. I'm going to demolish the competition! Oh, he's a fighter. I can't wait to challenge the Pokémon League. I'm going to be a Pokémon Master! Yeah, after me, maybe. <gasps> is that Gary? Ah, oh, Gary. So, you made it to the Pokémon League competition after all, huh? Well, I really hope you win your first battle, Ashy boy. I would feel just terrible if you lost. I want the pleasure of beating you myself. Then you'll see what a real Pokemon Master looks like. It's getting late. Time for my first victory. Gotta run, Ashy boy. I think Palatown deserves at least one trainer that's not a total embarrassment. Gary? Gash catch from Palatown does not approve of this! Ah, nonsense. I am totally going to win. Right, but now, before I talk to any of these guys, just in case they want to take me to a room to battle, let's get them items. So I don't know if you'd be interested in actually seeing the items, but I'm going to show you anyway. Pikachu has the Light Ball, Carter P has the Twisted Spoon, Pidgeot has Leftovers, Spooks has Spell Tag, Rebel has Never Melt Ice, Bulba has Miracle Seed, and that is our team. So let's talk to these guys and see what we have to do. You do not have any matches scheduled on this field at this time. Or scheduled, okay. Well, how do I schedule things? What's this one? Water battlefield? Grass battlefield? I guess I talk to her? Oh, I register with her, don't I? That makes sense. Your first opponent is Mandy. He calls himself Mandy the Astounding. He's both a showman and a magician, and his training style reflect this. Remember that you are battling on the water field, so be prepared for an aquatic atmosphere. I don't know if that means I'm going against water-type Pokémon. It doesn't sound like it. But, just in case it goes by order, we're gonna do this. And, I would use Bulba against water types, but in case it's not and he actually has Psychic-type Pokémon, I don't want to use him because he's poison. So, let's... Be sure, let's send Pidgeot, actually. Why not? Is it this guy I talked to? You were scheduled to face Mandy on this field. Are you ready to begin the match? Yes. Three Pokemon. Oh, I have to actually... I have to deposit Pokemon every time. This is gonna be long. I am ready to begin the match. You cannot bring any healing items into battle with you as they are prohibited in the competition. This includes all potions, revives, healing drinks, PP restores, and in-battle stat increases such as X attack. Please deposit all such items into PC first, then you may proceed to battle. Gosh dang it, why can't they just prohibit my use of them? Yeah. Okay, well here's an issue. I am out of room to store items in my PC. Is he still gonna say I can't go? Yes, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Okay, that should be good. I'm scheduled, yes. You may proceed into the battlefield to face your challenger. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was tedious. Wish me luck, guys. Maybe I should have saved first. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League first round battle is all set to begin! In the red corner is Pokemon League favorite, the astounding Mandy! And in the green corner is Ash from Pallet Town! Let the match begin! That is an unfortunate choice of words for this eager little trainer will be no match for me. It's showtime! Watch me work my magic! Oh no, do I have something? I don't have anything cool to say. Gosh dang it. Alright, bring it on, Mandy. At least he only has three as well. Yeah, I don't think I was fully prepared for this. So, Thunder Wave! Actually, he does seem pretty weak, though. So at least there's that backing me up. How, how good is Thunderbolt against him? I know he's a grass type. But yeah, see, I actually... Just two Thunder Waves, that'd be, that'd be fine. Or Thunderbolts. Good work, Pikachu. 
This might work out okay, but oh, Seedra, we're definitely gonna keep Pikachu out. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! And down Seedra goes. What else do you got, Mandy? Golbat, we can keep Pikachu out one more. Pikachu, Thunderbolt again! And that battle was no problem. Though it was only the first round, so I can't get cocky. Cannot get cocky. But I'm Mandy the Astounding, da da da. How could I lose? Because I'm Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town, dang it. Ash has defeated Mandy and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash. Well, cool. I guess I go talk to the lady now, right? And I want to see, is Pikachu healed? No, I have to heal my Pokemon after every round myself. Fine, I'll do that now. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I appreciate what you're doing. Now let me go. Don't talk to me, let me go. Thank you. All right, what's my next battle looking like? Your second battle is against a youngster named Kevin. He's a newcomer to the competition like yourself, but he is known for his steadfast personality and speed. You will be battling on the rock field for this round, so keep that in mind. All right, rock field. Uh, known for his speed, that could mean flying. But since it's rock, that could mean he has some rock Pokemon too. I believe this one is the rock one. And just so you guys see the Pokemon that I have, I chose Rebel, Spooks, and Bulba this time around. So let's go. You were scheduled to face Kevin on this field. Are you ready to begin the match? Yes! We may proceed into the battlefield to face our challenger. Good luck! Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Ooh, Rockfield. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League second round battle is all set to begin. In the red corner is Pokemon League newcomer, Kevin! And in the green corner is the newcomer from Pallet Town, Ash! Let the battle commence! I'm not gonna go easy on you. This battle is mine to lose. Wait. Isn't that bad for him? This battle's mine to win, because I'm, I'm gonna win this battle. Isn't that how it goes? All right, Kevin. Wow, bad time for Rebel to go out, huh? All right, Rebel, let's switch out. Bulba, go! We're gonna take advantage here of Bulba's resistance. Good thing is, though, he only used that. So, Razor Leaf, just to see... Ow! 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 Okay, good. Good work, Bulba. You're so awesome. Next, we have Cubone. We can keep him out. Re er, Rebel would have worked here, too, but I think Bulba will be just fine. Yeah, see? No problem. Bulba's got this. But if there's a stronger type, or a stronger Pokemon after this of the same type, Nidorino... Poison, so we're gonna send out Spooks. All right, Spooks, Psychic! And Nidorino goes down, but that Nidorino is level 58. These guys are getting harder. I'm really gonna have to make use of type advantages if they keep going like this. What a letdown, dot dot dot. Like you said, this battle is yours to lose. Ash has defeated Kevin, and will advance to the next round! Congratulations, Ash! Oh boy, I did it! I beat the second round! I can't wait to rub it in Gary's face! Alright, who's my third challenger? Your next preliminary match is against Pete Pebbleman of Pewter City. Pretty sure he's a rock type. Pete is known for power and precision. This third round battle will be taking place on the ice field, so please see the appropriate Pokemon League officer when you're ready to begin. Alright, does the field actually make a difference, or is that just to stay close to the anime? Like, if I had Bulba go out on the ice field, would he be in trouble? So I actually decided to keep the same Pokemon. Just because, I mean, if we're against rock types, same thing, right? Um, which is the ice? Is this the ice? Yes. You're scheduled to face Pete on this field. Are you ready to begin the match? Yes! You may proceed into the battlefield, blah, 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 blah. I have Rebel first, so if Ice would have affected Bulba, hopefully that won't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, 
this Pokemon League third round battle is ready to go. In the red corner is Pete Pebbleman of Pewter City. In the green corner is up and coming sensation, Ash. Catch him from Pallet Town. Let the battle begin. I've worked too hard to lose now. No mercy. Bring it on, Pete Pebbleman. Pete Pebbleman to Pewter City. That doesn't sound. I was wondering if I should bring I'm um, a flying type, but then I thought no. Because against rock types, you know. Um, Bubble Beam! Oh, good. I was thinking it wouldn't kill him in one hit, but it did! And that's perfect. Next, we have Arcanine. I will keep Rebel out. Alright, Rebel, you know what to do. 62, level 62. This Arcanine is strong. Bubble Beam is a special attack though, right? So Intimidate won't do anything. Bubble Beam! Arcanine's fast. But he's fairly weak too, so that's okay. Okay. Uh, really quickly, do I want to... Rain Dance! Just in case he uses a Fire-type move, and so I can kill him the third hit anyway, you know? If I use Bubble Beam again, I still would have had to use it two more times to knock him out. So it's like the same thing. Oh good! It didn't even matter. But he should go down now with Rain Dance's help. And he did! That'll also give Rebel an advantage against whoever's next, should he stay out. Cloyster? No, actually, I will switch for Bulba now. Alright, Bulba. You know what to do. Crap. Rain's falling. Use Razor Leaf! Hopefully it won't make a difference that rain's falling. And it won't! Good. Good work, Bulba. My dreams have been shattered. Just come next year, man. You can do it. Ash has defeated Pete and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash! Hey, look who it is! I can't believe I lost, dot dot dot. That trainer was lucky that I got distracted by the girls in the stands cheering for me. My fans are disappointed, but they'll get over it. This won't stop me from becoming a Pokemon Master. Maybe you should just quit while you're ahead, Ash. If I couldn't win the Pokemon League, there's no way a loser like you can. Later, Ash. Oh, I'll show you, Gary. I will win! I will become Pokemon League Champion and there's nothing you can do about it! But if Gary lost, maybe these guys are tough. Your fourth round battle is against a young woman named Jeanette Fisher. She's known both for her elegance and her unorthodox battle style. This matchup will take place on the grass field, so please prepare for those conditions. Alright, Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town will be ready! For this battle, I have chosen Pikachu, Pidgeot, and Bulba. Because Fisher made me seem, you know, it made me think water type, right? So we'll see, let's hope. Jeanette on this field. Yes, I am ready. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League fourth round battle is about to begin! In the red corner, we have Jeanette Fisher from Crimson City! And in the green corner is the trainer from the town of Pallet. Da, da, da. Oh, that's not a dot. Ash! I am honored to do battle with you, but don't take me lightly. Yeah, well, don't take me lightly. Just because I'm 10. I have a cool hat and I wear it backwards. Beedrill, bug flying, right? Or is it bug poison? Let's see what Thunderbolt does. Okay, not flying, obviously. But rather than switch out for Pidgeot by this point, ah, oh, poor Pikachu, we're just gonna use Thunderbolt again to finish him off. You're doing great, buddy. I'll see if I can switch you out this time. Pikachu grew to level 56. Stats. Scyther. Scyther was bug flying, right? But if Pidgeot can handle it, then I want to take Pikachu out so he doesn't die of poison. Keep him alive as long as I can. Pidgeot, wing attack! Yeah, these guys are 65 now. They've certainly gone up in level. But so far, we're doing okay with it. I forgot I gave leftovers to Pidgeot. That worked out really rather well. 
Not that Pidgeot would have died or anything, but, you know, boosted health. And lastly, Bellsprout. Let's keep Pidgeot out for this one. Yeah, for being Fisher, there's like no Pokemon, or water Pokemon here. I'm glad I got Pidgeot. A level 70 Bellsprout. Who does that? I guess they did say that she was a bit unorthodox, right? That would do it. All right, Pidgeot, finish it off with Wing Attack! And the battle has been won. It's a difficult loss, but I am proud of how hard my Pokémon battled. And I got money. Yay for Poké Dollars. Ash has defeated Jeanette and will mid blah blah advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash! Hi- Oh, I was gonna say I did it. Oh, excuse me. Hi, my name's Richie. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I bumped into you, but I was just so excited from having won my fourth round match. I get a little carried away when it comes to Pokémon. You too, huh? I guess we're just a couple of Pokémaniacs. <laughs> You're competing in the Pokémon League too, huh? Isn't that why we're all here? Isn't it exciting? I really want to be a great trainer. Attention, please. This is an emergency announcement for all participants in the Pokemon League competition. All trainers must bring their Pokemon to the front gate of the Indigo Plateau for inspection in Meta Leather. Immediately, but spelled wrong. Any trainer who fails to deliver their Pokemon in a timely manner will be disqualified from the competition. Thank you, and have a nice day. I guess we better hurry up and get to the Indigo Plateau entrance to get our Pokemon inspected, huh? That's a lot of words. It was nice meeting you. See you later, Ash. Wow, Richie, you walk really quickly. Ow! Uh, hurry! Hold on, Pikachu! Okay, well, I guess I should take all of the, all six of the Pokemon that I want inspected, right? I don't know why they're getting inspected. Like, steroids? Or something? I don't know, but I'm gonna get the other Pokemon and then head down there. Oh, here we... Oh, no! Oh, hey, Ash! These kind people from the Pokemon League were just taking our Pokemon to get them inspected. What? You mean these people are really from Team Rocket? Yeah, dude, look at their costumes. They have to be stopped! I'll do it. I'll take care of these crooks. Okay, fine, you do it. Go, Zippo! Who's Zippo? I can't see. Go, Sparky! Oh, Zippo's tournament, okay. Take care of Team Rocket! Zippo, use Flamethrower! Sparky, use Thunderbolt! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Bing. Well, good job, Richie. Well, that takes care of Team Rocket. It was a good thing you were here. If you hadn't shown up, I'd have given all my Pokémon to those thieves. Thanks for saving me. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other, but I've got to go find out who my next component is for the fifth round. See you, Ash. I swear I can speak English. Well, alright then. Let's see who our next opponent is. I bet it's Richie. Your next match will be your fifth and final preliminary battle. The battle will take place at Indigo Stadium against a young trainer named Richie. I believe you two may have already met. His battle style is mostly standard, but his Pokémon tend to battle far beyond their means, showing the bond he shares with them. Good luck in your final preliminary round. Alright, we can do this. I know that he has a Pikachu named Sparky, and a Charmander named Zippo. So let's arrange our team accordingly. I don't know where we're supposed to go to, you know, for this battle, but here's my team, Pikachu, Bulba, and Rebel. I'm gonna have Bulba go out first in case he sends Sparky, because I picked Bulba for his resistance. Let's actually see if it's this one. Nope, not this one. I didn't see what field. I didn't pay attention. But we haven't been to this one, have we? No, apparently we have. What about this one? No. Do I talk to him? Did you hear, Ash? We're going to be battling against each other in the fifth round. Listen, Ash, because we're friends, we should promise each other to make this the best battle we've ever had. Okay? I'll see you when the match starts at the Indigo Stadium. Okay, now I go to this far one, I guess? Oh no, he ran down. Where did he go? Okay, there was probably a good reason that he went down this way. I should probably just go and follow him. So, where's the Indigo Stadium? Somewhere down here, right? Is it like right around the torch? Ooh, do we get a fight around the torch? That'd be pretty cool. 
Or maybe not at all. We'll, f we'll find out. I need to tell you something. He, he also shouted Ash first, but apparently I clicked. And you're not gonna like it. Pikachu is mine! Wait, what? I thought Richie was talking. We have some bad news, and it's about the Pokemon League. You're out of it, twerp. Now hand over all your Pokemon or prepare to fight. Have it your way then. We'll do this the hard way. All right, Team Rocket, bring it on. I'm not afraid of you. Even though I only have three Pokemon with me. That's a bit of an issue. All right, well, what can we do here? We obviously don't want you. Sleep powder! Keep him out just for that. Rebel, go! Trust me, I know what I'm doing, as long as it doesn't wake up. Good. All right, Rebel, use Ice Beam! Oh, good. Just one more move. Bubble Beam! <sighs> good work, Rebel. So far, no one's been hurt, so that's good. Arbok, Arbok, um, we'll use Pikachu here. Cause I don't think Rebel or Bulba are good against Arbok, you know, poison. So we're just gonna go with Brute Strength. Not that Pikachu's really a Brute Strength kind of guy, but Thunderbolt's pretty good. So on that note, Thunderbolt! Oh, see, pretty good, huh? Ow. Thunderbolt again! Quick attack might have finished it off, but I wanted to be sure because Acid did a considerable amount of damage. Licky Tongue. Oh, I hate Licky Tongue. Alright, Pikachu, you stay out for now. But who's the fourth Pokemon? I don't even know. Thunder! Good at hit. I am glad. Don't move. Don't move. Dang it. Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Oh, good. Thunderbolt! Playing it super duper safe when Pikachu's at 8 health. That's what you have to do. Weezing, oh duh, Weezing. Now we'll switch out. Rebel, go! Now I haven't used this move yet, so I want to try it. Skull Bash! Yep, takes two moves. The first one, it raises its defense. Oh, please don't make that miss. Dang it, it missed! Of course it did, right? No, don't you dare spam smoke screen. I hate spammers of accuracy moves. Oh my gosh. Stop it! I will murder you! Thank you. Oh, and it didn't even do that much. Yeah, you know what? Real smart after using all that stupid crap. Okay, rain dance. So the next time it hits, hopefully it'll it'll work. Yeah, keep using Destiny Bond. I'll laugh. Bubble Beam! Dang it. I hate you, Weezing. So much right now. Good. Okay. Well, I guess using Smoke Screen that last time paid off, because now Rebel doesn't die along with him. But, yeah. So I guess Richie's working with Team Rocket? Another defeat! Dang straight. We may not have Pikachu, but now you'll never make it to your match on time. That's what you get for defying Team Rocket. Now we're blasting off again? <laughs> I'll never make it to my match on time if I go by foot. But I promised Richie. But I thought Richie called my name. Now I'm confused. Wait, if I go by foot, then how am I... What am I supposed to do now? It hasn't begun yet. What are you talking about? Crap. What's the whole by foot thing? I don't have a bird type with me. I don't have anything that would... Unless I go by bike. I could go by bike. Can I bike in here? No. Alright, biking it is! Biking! Biking, biking, biking! Biking, 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 biking. I don't know where the stadium is. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm probably not. Well, let's go up this way anyway and see if we can't use the PC to warp. Ow. I mean, if it's not there, maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Even though now that I think about that, this seems kind of weird considering this is based on the show, and I'm pretty sure the show did not have PC warping. We'll try it anyway. 
Alright, is he here? Richie? Okay, Richie's here. That's good. So I'm gonna heal my Pokemon then. And then we'll talk to Richie. Alright, Richie, I'm here. I made it in time. Right? I guess one of us had to lose, huh, Ash? I'll try to win my next match for the both of us. Wish me... What? But no! No, hey, wait, wait! Whoa! What? But I... But I didn't lose! You did not make it in time for your match with Richie. As a result, he was declared the winner and you have forfeited your battle. Gosh dang it! After all that, are you serious? Is that really what happens? Are you serious? You have lost the Indigo League competition. Your Kanto Region Pokemon Trainer ranking is 16. When the League competition begins again, come back and re-challenge it. I bloody hate this all. Are you serious? Is that really all that's here? Oh, if it isn't Oak. Ash! I came to cheer you on in your match! I know you must be disappointed that you lost, but I think you should be proud of yourself. You did your very best and made it to the top 16 of the Pokemon League. That's quite an accomplishment. I didn't lose my match! I didn't make it in time because Team Rocket interfered. You should be happy for your friend, because his dream is the same as yours. I think his match is almost over. You should go talk to him and offer your support. You should want Richie to win just as much as you wanted to. Oh, as you wanted to. When the League's ended, come back home to Pallet Town. We're excited to congratulate our hometown hero on a fine competition. See you soon, Ash. Well, I guess... I guess he's right. Richie did want to win, and he seemed like a good kid. Even though I might have thought for a minute that he was working for Team Rocket. Alright, can I go in and cheer him on? No. Or is he just not in battle anymore? Is he over... Yeah, there's Richie. How'd it go, man? Well, Ash, da-da-da. Now we have mo one more thing in common. Oh, no. We can learn a lot from losing. I was so sure I could win. Too sure, I guess. If I had known how tough the Pokemon League was going to be, I'd have trained twice as hard as I did. Well, losing isn't so bad. Now I know what mistakes not to make next time. I'm a better trainer because of that. Hey, Ash, let's make a promise. To become Pokemon Masters no matter what. Well, Ash, I'm heading home. I guess you should too. Goodbye, Richie. It was nice meeting you. And I guess now that means that we're heading home. But before we do that, it's been long enough, and I say we wrap it up here. So, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm sorry if this is long. If you did enjoy it, feel free to put a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out. I'm actually gonna switch my team out. And I'd love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care.